Hi there, and welcome to another QImage Ultimate feature video. In this short video, we're going to be covering a new feature called the High Res Page Simulator. And this feature is in the upcoming 2025.103 version. And we're going to demonstrate how that works right now. Sometimes when you're preparing prints and you're filling up your layout here and getting things ready, you'd like to see the page before you print it. And I realize that we have the soft proof down here, which we've had for some time now, and that basically updates this live view here with a soft proof. But sometimes you want a little bit more detail, or maybe even a lot more detail. You might want to fool with the sharpening and drop down the sharpen here and, and change the level to something different and get a preview of how that looks. And you can't really do that on a small preview like this. So this new feature, let me add a couple prints to the page here. I'll add this one and let's say this one. We'll get a couple. This is just an eight and a half by 11 page here on the Epson 8550 printer. Um, the new feature is down here. It's got the little magnifying glass and it says high res page simulation. So if you click on that button, what it's going to do is it'll render the current page that you're looking at here in super high resolution. In fact, the resolution that is getting sent to the printer. So it only takes a few seconds and that'll come up and you see here, uh, this is a simulation of what your page is going to look like when it hits the printer. Uh, so you can sit back and take a look at this and, and see what your piece of paper is going to look like. Um, and you can even zoom in to high levels and take a look at what this is going to look like on the paper. Now you'll see uh, if you zoom way in here and you're looking at some of these details in the background, you want to know how they're going to look on the page. Uh, keep in mind that what prints should be pretty close to the monitor, but it's not going to be identical because they're, they're two different technologies. One uses full color pixels and another uses dots, but uh, this will give you an idea of what the sharpness is going to look like. And if you notice up here, it says view 6.31 by 2.38. I'm in Imperial, so that's going to be inches. Uh, if you were in metric mode, it would show you millimeters here. But this is about, you know, six inches by two inches. So this whole viewport here, this whole window is about six inches by two inches, a, a little bit bigger than that. Uh, so you're really zoomed in here. And even though your monitor is probably pretty big, you got to realize you're looking at a small area. And this is only 75% zoom. If I zoom all the way into 100%, you can see that, you know, I'm less than two inches on the height and less than five inches on the width. So you're looking at a pretty small section of your print here. Uh, another thing you can do here is you can right click and select actual size. And when you do that, you're looking at the sheet of paper at actual size. So this factors in the size of your monitor, which is recorded with the Windows operating system. Uh, so this, when it views on your monitor in QImage, is going to be the exact size of the piece of paper that comes out of your printer. Uh, now, of course, it's not going to be right in this video because your monitor is probably a different size than mine, but you get the idea. You can actually see this is actual size. This is what it's going to look like. So you can get a, a good idea of looking at your monitor, what the paper is going to look like. Uh, and of course, if you, let's say, let me change my printer to a big printer like the Canon Pro 2000. we got a long page here. These prints are the same size, but the, the page is huge. So let me do a uh, high res page simulation on that. And as you can see, while this is generating, you can press escape to, to cancel if you like, if it got a lot of prints and it's taking too much time. Uh, but now you'll see that it, it brings it up small enough or big enough so you can see the whole page at once. And then of course you can zoom in and, and take a look like we did before. But when I hit actual size on this now, see what happens. These prints, they're the same size on my monitor, but you know, the, piece of paper is much larger. 
So these prints are going to look the same size because they are the same size. This is the actual size that it prints, but you can see that the piece of paper is much bigger than my monitor, so I have to scroll around. Uh, and in fact, if we take one of these out and let me, um, let's see, I'll just use a flower again and I'll do 24 by 36 size. So that's how that fits on. This is a, a large print now, 24 by 36 in size. And you know, if I hit the uh, page simulation on that, it'll take a little bit longer to develop that. But as you can see, for a 24 by 36 inch print, it still doesn't take very long. Okay, and that's done. And this is what your full page would look like. But if I go actual size on that now, look what happens. This gets really large because on my monitor, this is actual size now for the piece of paper. You can see the print there and, you know, the rest of the paper below and above it if we keep going up here. Uh, but this is how big the print is going to be. So if I printed this on that Pro 2000, and then I held the piece of paper up to my monitor, this would be the exact size that's, that's printing. So you can get a really good idea of what your print's going to look like and how much detail it's going to have by just looking at your monitor after doing this actual size here. So hopefully this feature will, will help a lot. And I should point out that... Um, when you when you bring this up, let me put a smaller print back in. Put a eight by ten in, and even the eight by ten looks small because the piece of paper is so big. It's twenty four by sixty four inches long. So I'm going to do the page simulation again. And note that if you have a printer profile in place, this will be a soft proof as well. So not only are you looking at you know the pixels the way they're supposed to be and the resolution at the correct resolution uh, so you can see what kind of details are going to print on your printer but this is also a soft proof so the the white of the paper is going to look like the white of the paper that you're using in your printer and the colors are going to look like the colors that actually print out so you know a simple way to put that is this is a really high resolution soft proof with uh, you know, simulate paper white turned on. So it really it tries to simulate everything. And here I have, you know, I have a profile in place so it can do an actual soft proof based on that profile. And everything should look accurate all the way down to the details and the color and the paper white, everything. So this is a really useful tool if you want to see what your prints are going to look like before you even print them. It's not like a, a general preview that just shows you something like this in a small window you actually get to you know go to actual size and look at the size that it's going to be zoom all the way in and see if you've got the correct sharpness or if you'd like to turn up the sharpness a little bit and that kind of thing if you have let printer manage color um, of course QImage is going to make sure all the color management settings are correct in the driver but if you have let printer driver manage color, there's no way to get a soft proof because you don't you haven't activated a profile. It doesn't know what profile to use for the soft proof, and a soft proof requires a printer profile. But you know it still works. When I click on the high res page simulation, it will still build this page here. But you can probably see this is a lot brighter colors here uh, because. It's not a soft proof of what you're going to see. This is just a simulation of what goes to the printer. And that's the best you can do when you don't have a profile selected here. So hopefully this new tool will really come in handy with, with helping you do things like uh, judge sharpness and print size and things like that. Thanks for watching.